Um, what would you do as a, as a counselor to ensure the community involvement, uh, it, to ensure community involvement in important decisions? What changes would you put forward? Does anybody like to speak to that? What would you do, what do you as a, as a counselor do to ensure the community, community involvement in important decisions? And what changes would you, would you put forward? Okay. Three years ago, I organized an all-candidates meeting just like this, and I was looking at the YouTube from that the other day and watched how almost every single person who stood up said they were all for community engagement, and over the past three years, I have not seen anything that created community engagement. I've been working for the, I've been on the Departure Day Neighborhood Association for almost 15 years, and involved with the Nanaimo Neighborhood Network. And the last few weeks, I have done a lot of research on how we're going to change that giant gap between where our citizens are and the city hall. I've got a plan, and I know it can work, and I'm gonna put it in place when I'm elected. Karen Hovestad. Yeah, um, that's, community engagement is what I've been doing all my life, and I've been doing it well, and that's one of the things I've, I want to be on council to make sure that happens. I have watched in the 24 years that I've lived here, the techniques of the city move from actually having meetings like this um, to having open houses, and I'm sure you've all been to them, where there's three staff to one person, and if you try to talk to anyone, you're pulled over in a corner, you're given some little survey to fill out or something to stick little dots on, and then you go home. I actually was involved most recently with the RDM when we put together the uh, management plan for Mount Benson Regional Park. And even the RDM staff were going to do just an open house. And those of us from the Nanaimo area said, no, this has to be a meeting, a public meeting. People need to get up, get on their soapbox if they need to, and talk about the things they want to see in that park. Years ago, when I first moved here, I was involved in coordinating the development of a community health council and in this room, the whole room, we put together a public meeting to start that development. We thought we'd have two or 300 people. We had 500 and we were scrambling to find <coughs> seats and, and the process for everyone, but we did a good job. And I know we can do that kind of involvement again. This city wants it. You're here tonight for that reason. Thank you. The LAP. First off, I'd scrap the Elimina report that's uh, part of the government's question. Second off, council should not be denigrating citizens when they come up and offer input. This was done at the last council meeting because the person did not have some letters beside their name. They offered a very viable option to something I'm not going to talk about. Same thing happened with the Calgary Dam. Oh, amateur engineers. Well, fact is, one of them was an engineer, and they finally took him seriously when he got his BC certificate. Big deal. We need to have all candid, we need to have, oh, jeez, brain fry. <laughs> we need to have open meetings throughout the city, throughout the year, including on Protection Island. We also need to, there's one more thing, and my brain is just mush, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> oh, no. I absolutely believe in community engagement. It is part of my platform, and I do believe that it is of great value. We need to find ways that are meaningful, that where people feel heard. I don't believe that everyone who has a voice is right, but I do believe that everyone has a right to be heard. And this community wants to be heard. We have a very active in their community, and I really commend our community for being so fully engaged. Hey, on Kate. Uh, well, the first thing I can tell you right now will land, unless it's land allegation or labor, there will be no more in-camera meetings. That when they say in-camera, we're not in the picture. For you to be in the picture, we all need to be get together in, in decision making of what goes behind closed doors, then all of a sudden we find what's done. So the in-camera sessions that they used, for example, how we took the dams out of the picture, the way that report was presented to council was flawed. 
and there's a million dollars of your money's been spent that nobody's challenging. And I can tell you this on council, I will be looking to see why that happened. Thank you.